Hello. Bit different. No rooms. <laughs> this is the inverse square law in action. This is what we're on about when we talk about the inverse square law. Now, if you're scared of maths, stay with me. I'm going to try and unpack it for you. Um, all right, so this is a speaker, and this is what happens as the sound of that speaker propagates outwards. I've done it in a square shape just to make it easier, make it easier to draw, make it easier to sort of visualise. So let's do, that's one metre away, that's two metres away, and that's four metres away. This is what happens when you double the distance, showing you what happens to the kind of the energy. Um, so at a metre, great, that's our spec sheet, you know, if you throw a watt at a speaker that's down one metre away, that's how many dB you'll get. So you'll get 89, you'll get 92, something like that. As you double from one metre to two metres, which is, you know, very common, um, the level will drop to a quarter. So inverse square. In other words, from one to two, it's half times a half. So that's the square part, and the inverse is from double to a half. As you go from one meter to four meters, it's then a quarter times a quarter. So it's a sixteenth. And there's the sixteen squares. You know, that's that's the waves propagated out into that much bigger, sixteen times the, the area. So that's why the level drops to a sixteenth of what it was. And that's very useful and that's very powerful. So the reason it's useful first, most people have got, which is we do calculations to say, Mr. Customer, you're gonna need a bigger amp. You're going to need more sensitive speakers. We need to get you more level because of where you're sitting relative to things. And we've we've used that for years to say you need bigger amplifiers or you need more sensitive speakers or you need a combination of the two or you need an active speaker with a certain amount of level here in order to get you what you want over here. And, you know, if you're three metres, you can work that out as well. That's what all that kind of log calculation stuff is for. So far, so good. Mostly, I think that's that argument's been had, although you do still see wildly underspecified systems. You do. People go, oh, they don't listen that loud. That's irrelevant. doesn't matter that they don't listen that loud. They're still sitting that far away. You still need the correct amount of headroom to, you know, faithfully reproduce the dynamics of a film soundtrack. Call me picky. Um, but also, if you use this backwards, so now let's imagine that our furthest away point is two meters, middle point is a meter, and then this nearest point is 50 centimeters, half a meter. So the reason that's interesting is because it's quite common in UK rooms where you might have a main head and it's two meters from a surround back speaker. Okay, cool. Now, if your second row is somewhat shoehorned in, if it's a bit closer to the back wall than the ideal, which happens every day, it's very, very plausible that somebody's head could be 50 centimeters or less from a surround back channel just just look on the gram you know and you'll see it all the time what that means though is that that near near point bear in mind it's a quarter of the distance so from two meters half to one half again to it's a quarter of the distance so inverse square law means it's four times four it's 16 times too loud bloody hell 16 times 2. Now, that's a lot, right? So now imagine, I don't know, imagine Ready Player One where King Kong is running around the racetrack as they're trying to do this race. He's going vroom, vroom, vroom. Well, if, when he's here, and if that's 16 times too loud, that will be very, very weird. That will be jarring. Because actually, you're probably further away from other channels. So not only is that's far too loud, but other channels might be quite a bit too quiet as well. That will throw you out of the illusion. That's not what the director and the sound designers wanted to do with that scene so that will spoil the illusion now home cinema is quite an expensive thing to do right it's quite an expensive pastime 16 times too loud that's bad it's also common but if we look at this more positively once you've wrapped your head around this inverse square business you will design differently you'll bring seats and take them away from speakers and it's a massive, massive way to improve what you're doing. So understand the inverse square law properly and everything gets a lot better. Lovely. So next time we're going to put this into some real rooms and see what happens.